Welcome to Ratatouille Plot Review. I'm Remy. Bog bog. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what we're going to do every time now? I didn't last time. <laughs> oh, you know what we forgot to do for this episode? What? Planet. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we're going to be talking uh... about. The solar system. What's your favorite planet? Um... I'm unprepared. The bore. I'm gonna go with the boring answer with Earth. No, nah, Earth is forbidden. Although, you can't say Earth. I can't say Earth. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. Let's go with uh. Let's go with uh Jupiter. Ah, that's a good call. I somehow I knew you were gonna go with Jupiter. It reminds me of you. It's a it's a big, like white and brown orb. Like to be honest, with a spot. <laughs> <laughs> you don't really know Logbog until you've seen his spot. <laughs> <laughs> Only a select group of individuals know about my spot. Uh, it's really just a massive hurricane. But <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Have you seen my massive hurricane? <laughs> Look at this dude's hurricane. It's enormous. It's massive. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> if I was a planet, which one would I be? If you were a planet, I think I might be Mercury because of my high temperature, low gravity, and acid rain. I mean, that describes you pretty well. <laughs> uh, it's... Mercury, yeah, like, uh, I, I just pulled up a picture of all of them just so I can make sure I'm not <laughs> so missing any. you can any. make sure. Oh, I should have done that. <laughs> I just guessed that Mercury has acid rain. I, I know Mercury or Venus does, but I, it's 50-50. Um, Go, calling back to my magic school bus knowledge. Um, <laughs> actually, no. Okay. Okay. Um, Hot take. Mm-hmm. Saturn. Saturn. And the reason for Saturn is it's got it's got all the rings, right? I have rings of hot boys swirling around me. That's it. That's it. You are so incredibly attractive that you have all these these other objects, space debris to you because you're, you know, this giant planet um I'm a, swirling I'm around a gas you. Gas giant. <laughs> the second largest planet in the solar system. Ooh. Are you just reading the Wikipedia page? No. I'm j I am okay. I know that Logbug. I thought you were just gonna keep going. <laughs> oh no no no. <laughs> it's not that unreasonable to know that. Saturn. Oh yeah, no no no. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been pretty funny though. Yeah. Yeah. What what do I know about Saturn? It's got rings. That are made of uh, space dust. That's, mm-hmm. that's pretty cool. Like, how, how did it get there? Why are all those... What? Where'd the dust come from? What's it gonna do? Is the dust gonna revolt and form its own planet? <laughs> <laughs> I think it already did. Oh. I think... Saturn 2. Saturn 2! That's <laughs> the one! Log bog. Did you know that Uranus also has rings, but they're invisible? Oh, yeah. What, they're, what are they made out of? Uh, glass. <laughs> <laughs> they're clear. Log bog. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I think they might just be like. Small, Small so, dust. so like they're just hard to see. Uh huh. But if you get a good enough picture, they're there. Like if you take your Nikon P forty five outside with your zoom lens and just kind of with a Kodak. <laughs> <laughs> that was a pit bull quote. I'm I'm well aware. <laughs> I love he. Hmm. Yeah. So that's what happens when we haven't planned it an episode. We talk about Saturn and 
and its rings. Mm-hmm. And then we make a Pitbull reference. Yeah. And by we, I mean Remy, because Remy is the biggest fan of Pitbull I am you'll a ever find. I'm a huge fan of Timber by Pitbull. Oh, right, that is a Pitbull song. Yeah, he does Kesha, the rap. Even though he Kesha, says, like, this diggity dog is something. I don't this, know. This biggity boy's a diggity dog. Yeah. I think. I think it was like yeah. diggity down at some point. <laughs> what do we know? Nothing. We've never heard the song. I'm not in in English class. I don't read the classic literature. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been reading your scripture? And thus the Lord said, "Tis going down. <laughs> Thy yelling timber. Thou better move. Thou better dance. <laughs> Twill be the night. <laughs> Y'all won't remember. Yeah. Logbog, when are we going to record an episode entirely in Finnish? Um, as soon as you feel like you can talk for 15 minutes straight. Hmm. I could probably get out two or three sentences in that amount of time. Ooh. Yeah. I know, I'm getting good. Two or three sentences in 15 minutes? That's two five or three minutes a sentence. Logbog, I need your hot take on this because. Because you're here. Okay. Okay, once I get finished to a point that I can maintain it, what language should I study next? Ooh, okay. Um. I don't want to... I I don't know. You know, I like the challenge that comes with, like, Finnish or something something obscure. Uh Uh-huh. So you're looking for not something super popular. Yeah. Or at least not something super easy. Okay, so not not one of the what are they like category one hurricanes? Mm, yeah. Yeah. No category one hurricanes. Um so Okay, let me let me look up the uh The the language difficulty index. <laughs> yeah. Alright, alright, I got the thing memorized, so you can just you can just look at it and I'll I'll okay. load it up in my brain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, you Damn could learn Damn, government um, website's taking a long time to load. <laughs> you could learn, um, Mandarin and speak with AG. I could. Doesn't... Doesn't he speak Cantonese? I thought it was Mandarin. I thought he said Mandarin. It's probably Mandarin. Probably. It's always Mandarin. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now let's... So let's, let's take it, um... Let's take it back one to a category four. Mm-hmm. Um, that's that's where the good stuff because is. we're keeping where it finishes. Because five biggest... five has Japanese, Korean, Arabic, Chinese, and also Chinese. Yep, that's right. <laughs> uh, that's. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Japanese is cool because I'm a freaking weeb, but mm-hmm. honestly, it might be a little intimidating for me. Um, Arabic's cool, but mm. you could do a you could do a, you could go uh, full Greek. Ooh, Greek. Um, you could go a, a Russian and and go full Peter. I did take a Russian class with Peter once. That was quite an adventure. I I didn't learn much. But you sure did have a ride home in his dad's car. I did. It was fun. It was a great, a great deal of joy. <laughs> um, you could learn a uh, Turkish. Turkish. That's a good. Okay, that one. Coming from Finnish, I think I'd have a little bit of an advantage. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, for some freaking reason, everybody says Turkish and Finnish are similar. Uh, despite the fact that they are in no way related. <laughs> Turkish is Turkic. Is this like said by people that don't speak either and are like they sound the same, or is it like it's, by it's people who speak both and go like people this who, is, who speak either? I'd say just because both of them. Okay, this is a scholarly episode. 
<laughs> You're gonna learn in this one. Do it. Okay? Less jokes than usual. Because uh, they're both agglutinative languages, which is a mm -hmm. label that means absolutely nothing. But in theory, it means that they... That... Why well, say lot word when few word do trick? Uh-huh. You know, they, they yeah. smush them in. Finnish is famous for having really long words. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Wow. <laughs> was that a... Was that a a randomly cut off sentence what do you know we lost the second half of the recording for this episode we sure so did lose it it was only about five minutes and it was really boring but Logbug yeah, was, now knows what vowel didn't. harmony is <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's that's all we did you didn't need to hear that part so we're gonna continue was... from right here as if from right here but you know our train of thought's a little lost so we're gonna scrub back a little <laughs> so uh Log bog. Remy. You know, I said I wanted to learn something obscure and strange. Mm-hmm. But something I have considered is learning something easy as a gateway to the really weird. Oh, okay. Consider uh all of Africa. Uh huh. They speak a lot of strange things around there, and there's not a lot of a lot of learning materials for some of those languages that I would really like to study. Yeah. But I bet there's more in French. D okay. Because the French colonized a big yeah. chunk of Northwest Africa and stuff. So I've so been your, considering your strategy... learning French. As a category one, as opposed to a category four, which was Finnish. Mm-hmm, learning um, something. And then learning French to a point where I can learn something else through French. <laughs> <laughs> At that, I mean, and even if you if you need to bail, if you're like, oh, this is this is too much, I'm not going to learn another one after this, um, mm -hmm. you, you know French. Yeah. That's, that's something. Yeah, I... I see nothing wrong with that. That's my my master plan. You know, like if we're going off of like um like the uh the usefulness um in your everyday life <laughs> uh I'd say it's French is a little higher than Finnish. Um it is definitely higher than Finnish. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah, yeah, def for sure, for sure. But that's not what's important. Yeah, no, you're not trying to get this for a uh, for a as a utility. You're using it as a. Uh... There's all kinds of things. Like if you learn some other major world language, then you can use it as a gateway. Like I could learn Russian, uh, and then learn like Kyrgyz through it. Ooh. Or Kazakh. Or Uzbek. Everyone should learn Uzbek. Uzbek. Should be required in schools. <laughs> that's a that's a meme on one of the language learning subreddits. Uh huh. Is people any always language... go in there and they're like, "What language should I learn, guys?" And at some point, the community just decided that they would always answer Uzbek. Uh huh. <laughs> and we're like, yeah. <laughs> You should study Uzbek. It's a great language. It's, it's super... You, you got all these things. And apparently, the meme has convinced a couple people to actually study Uzbek. <laughs> uh-huh. Which is great. <laughs> yeah, and then... And then it, it's a language? Mm-hmm. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's good stuff, man. Good stuff. Yeah. I've got a master plan for a a language learning YouTube channel that doesn't exist yet. Ooh, oh, I want to hear it. Boy, oh boy. Okay, there's just, there's nothing in the market. You're welcome to steal this idea if anybody wants to. <laughs> but there is a severe lack of lifestyle-y edutainment in the, in the language learning category on YouTube. Oh. There's a lot of, like, study guides and bullet journal lifestyle stuff. 
and there's a lot of like supposed gurus who are like look at me i picked up mandarin chinese in three weeks while living in chinatown new york <laughs> uh-huh. uh, and then they they don't obviously uh-huh but there's just a there's a a big old gap for being able to get the experience and excitement of learning a language without doing anything. So by watching somebody else do it. Yeah. Consider weekly updates with somebody, and each week it's like a vlog of them going to classes and studying and talking about, like, the grammar and stuff that they're studying. So you pick up, like, a little bit, and you're like, oh, I'm having I'm having a fun time watching it, but also, mm-hmm. I know one word in Finnish now. Yeah. The goal isn't to learn the language, because there is a fair amount of that. Like, if you want to be taught a language, there are channels that will try and do that for you. But I just want to... Right now, I am studying Finnish, and it's taken up all my time. Mm-hmm. But there's also, like, 70 other languages that I wish I was studying. <laughs> uh, and I've determined that I definitely can't do more than one. <laughs> like At a time. It, yeah, not more than one at a time. It's just too hard. Mm-hmm. So, I want to be able to feel like I'm studying more than one language at a time. Get the get the studying high mm-hmm. while maintaining actually studying the one that you're working on. Exactly. And so I think I could pull that off. This has been Ratatouille Plot Review. Thank you to for review tuning in. To review the review, we went from the planets of the solar system and which one Remy is to Remy's new YouTube channel. Yeah. Coming out next week. <gasps> Frick. It's not. Subscribe to Legitimus. <laughs> Good night. <gasps>